Okay, so I got this course screw and I want to show you how you can use this uh, course screw. I just got it from a bottle of champagne, as you can see. And uh, it's actually Prosecco. Uh, you can just uh, cut it in two and you can have yourself a free golf practice ball. Let me show you how it's done. Okay, so all I gotta do here is just, you grab this, uh, core screw and you just cut it in a half right here where there's the the opening there we go that's it you cut it in a half okay so from each core screw you have two uh, golf balls now uh, the way you got to do it is you got to place it uh, up this way so it's gonna be up this way not this way here so let me show you. I'm gonna start with uh, with just like a 52, and I'll show you that the ball flight is uh, pretty um, similar to a golf ball. Okay, so you gotta get this. I put it this way. Yes. I got my 52. Quite a bit. Kind of similar to the uh, birdie ball. Let me show you where it went. Okay, so there we have it. Uh, I hit that pretty good. Uh, maybe a little bit of the toe, but that's as you know, that's my problem. And it should be somewhere over here to the right side of the uh, of the yard here. Okay, so actually it came back over here, uh, short of the tree. There we have it. Let me go back. Okay, so before I hit another shot, I'm gonna spray some white paint on it just to make it easier all right so i have my pitching wedge now that was uh kind of uh, i think it works similar to a uh, birdie ball let me hit a pitching wedge Same sound as a birdie ball. Okay, so from back there, I made it to the bunker with the uh, with a pitching wedge. With my 52, I made it right here. With the pitching wedge, I made it to the bunker. Should be in the bunker. Okay, so here it is. They're really hard to find, but uh, uh, it's free. It's a free, um, I guess, a free uh, practice ball that you can have. Uh, it makes the same sound as the birdie ball, I tell you that. And uh, the ball flight is just like a regular ball. You just have to remember to put it like this and not like this because this way is not going to work. So I'm going to try my nine iron, but I'm afraid that uh, it might pass it from back there. So let's see. Okay, so I have my nine iron now. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to pass the green, but we'll see. right but it felt pretty good actually there we are kind of pushed it to the right of the uh, the green here all right so so far uh, I'm getting the same results I'm getting with the birdie ball uh, if you strike it good you get this uh, kind of whistling sound like that and it goes really nice a uh, good wall flight um, they work pretty good I have to say um, I think obviously you have to uh, cut a few cork screws to have uh, your set, but uh, I'm gonna try my eight iron now and see if I can uh, if they're limited or if they're uh, restricted to just uh, about let's say 60 yards, no 50 yards maybe. So let's find out. Okay, so I have an eight iron now. Okay, so now I have my seven iron. Great. 
Okay, so with my seven error, it makes it to the green, which is about 45 yards. And I think they're, uh, they're probably limited to that. I don't think they can go any farther. Uh, the wind is slightly against the wind, so maybe that has something to do with it. But uh, I tell you what, they do feel pretty good. And the best part about them is that they're free. So definitely, I would definitely recommend this. Uh, if you if you run out of practice balls or if you just want to try it for fun, I think it's great. Uh, the only thing I would advise you is to uh, maybe uh, color them like I did, just paint them. That will be they will be easier to find. I will do one more test. I'm gonna get my four iron and see if uh, if it tops out here at 45. Okay, four iron. Pretty good. It went to the green. Let's see. Four iron. So I can confirm that uh, they're limited uh, flight, I guess. Uh, max 50 yards, I would say. Uh, we're not attempt hitting a driver because I don't think uh, you could maybe, but I'm not going to attempt it. I think uh, it's not going to be. Uh... Well, actually, tell you what, let me just try a driver and see what happens. All right, let's tee it up for a driver. Oh, see, let's see if it stays up. Yep, it can stay up, so that's pretty good. All right, got my driver out. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's nice. A little bit of a push, but it's great. All right, got the key. With the driver, I pushed it a little, but uh, feels great. Um, I have to say, it's, this is a great uh, way to practice for free. You don't need uh, you don't even need to buy a practice ball. So, anyways, uh, I hope uh, this was helpful. Um, I think it's quite fun actually to practice with uh, corkscrews. Um, this particular one was for a from a champagne bottle. Uh, you may want to try with wine too and everything. I think it should work the same same principle. As long as you put it up this way, because if you put it this way, it's not going to work. I did try it. This way, it just goes right or left. So, anyways, so I hope you like this video and uh, thanks for watching.